hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh in case it's your first time uh i'm urging you to subscribe to my youtube channel that is uh prince ed official so today uh i felt like uh, i wanna take you through uh, uh parts and uh, components of uh, the system unit so i want to reassemble my system unit here then from there i can give you some uh, basic basic knowledge and uh, know-how for uh, uh, users that will be working with uh, th this system unit so uh, guys as you can see uh, Inside the, the system unit has a lot of uh, components, has a lot of uh, components as you can see from uh, uh, this clip. Uh, so inside it we have a uh, uh, symbol component and uh, we have a uh, 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 complex component inside the system unit. So the symbol components are like uh, I uh, like uh, uh, cables like uh, the SATA cables, and then we have uh, the IDE cables here. And then we have uh, basic components like uh, the hard disk, as you can see. And then we have uh, complex components like uh, the CPU, also known as uh, also known as the processor. So this is the processor, as you can see. Then from there, we have another complex component like uh, like uh, random access memories, abbreviated as uh, RAM. And then we have uh, other complex components like uh, like uh, the CMOS, the CMOS battery, of which its purpose is uh, to update the computer with the current time and a uh, date. Now, this is uh, the interior part of uh, the system unit. So some of uh, some people call it uh, the CPU, which is not the case, of course. So when we talk of uh, the CPU, uh, uh, we are referring to that this uh, small component here, and then which is not right as to my case. So. This uh, 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 component, uh, this casing, is what we call the system unit. So inside the system unit, we have a good number of uh, components which are housed uh, in this metallic case. Thus, we refer to it as a, as a system unit. So inside the system unit, we have uh, components, as you can see, we have a uh, uh, various components we have various components uh, let me uh, open it so that you can see so we have uh, various components like uh, we have uh, this section here this part here which is uh, referred to as the power supply so on this power supply this is where we fix uh, the power cable as you can see here and then from there, you can realize that all the cables, all the wires, all the wires are emerging from uh, the power supply, uh, purposely to supply, uh, supply power to parts of uh, the system unit that is on the motherboard. We have at the motherboard another power uh, uh, will be supplied to the to the uh, CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. Then we have uh, another power which is supplied to the uh, hard disk, this one here. Uh, next we have, uh, we have of course, the random memory chips which are mounted on, on the RAM slots, on the RAM slots. So on these slots here we have we have uh, the DRAM uh, slot, and then we have the static RAM slot. Yes, next we have uh, the central 
processing unit, which is uh, the brain of the computer. So this is what we call, so below this, okay, on top here we have, uh, this one we call it a heat sink. So the heat sink is, uh, is, uh, is surrounded with uh, uh, two fans. That is, we have one fan here, and then we have another fan from uh, this section here. So the work of uh, uh, this cooler fan, uh, the work of uh, this heat sink is to consolidate, is to consolidate, uh, uh, is to consolidate the amount of uh, air that is being produced by these uh, cooler fans, and then from there it can be able to cool parts of uh, at the, uh, parts of uh, the processor all the central processing unit which is located just slightly below the heat sink so if i add some screw i can uh, open up uh, uh, this section here so that we can see uh, the central processing unit all the processor and the work of uh, the processor is uh, is to control all the activities it's to process all the activities that are taking place inside the computer. In layman's uh, language, we can call it uh, the medulla, the medulla oblongata of the set of, uh, of uh, the computer. Why do we say so? Because nevertheless, its size, it has the ability, it has the ability to control all the activities that are taking place uh, inside this computer. So that is why we call it the medulla or planata of the computer. It's a small component, but it has the ability to control all the activities that are taking place inside the computer. Uh, next we have the CMOS path. So this is what we call the CMOS path. So the CMOS path is a, is a dry cell. It's a dry cell. It's a dry cell, and the purpose of uh, this CMOS pathway is to activate all, is to update the computer with the current time and date, just like the watch, just like the watch. So the work of uh, this CMOS pathway is actually to uh, to update the computer with the current time uh, and date. So it's a it's a special memory. It's a special memory, it's a type of a special memory that is uh, also mounted on the motherboard. And what is this that I'm calling a motherboard? A motherboard is this plastic structure that you are seeing from uh, this clip. So this is what we call the motherboard. The motherboard creates a platform where all the components of the computer are mounted. And it is plastic in nature, purposely, because, uh, because of obvious reasons. Uh, as we all know from physics, a plastic is a poor conductor of uh, both heat and uh, electricity. So that is why the motorboard is a purposely made up of a uh, plastic, or it's plastic in nature, so as to prevent the user from uh, electric shocks. Next we have, we have these cards here. We have this card. This is a, an extension. Uh, this is an extension uh, card. And uh, we have, of course, extension slots here where we can add extra extension cards like uh, video cards, like gaming cards, etc. Next we have uh, we have uh, uh, the hard disk, so this is what we call this is what we call the hard disk, and uh, the work of uh, the hard disk is to store all the computer files. So all the computer files are being stored inside this hard disk. Uh, are being stored inside uh, this hard disk. So all the files, including the operating system all the softwares that we install inside the computer are being stored inside this component, which is referred to as the hard disk drive, HDD. 
So we have two types of uh, hard disks. Uh, as you can see from uh, this hard disk that I have here. So this is a good example of uh, uh, an S A sorry an IDE hard disk. This is an IDE hard disk. Then we have an S A T A hard disk. So uh, 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 an IDE is an abbreviation which stands for Integrated Drive Electronic Hard Disk. And then we have the S A T A. We have uh, the S A T A hard disk, which is an abbreviation for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment Hard Disk. So, uh, so this is uh, the S A, the S A T A cable. It's uh, it's kind of uh, thin compared to the, the integrated drive electronic. So this is what we call the IDE cable. Then of course we have the SATA cable. Now the work of uh, these cables, sometimes we call them the controller channel cables. It's uh, to create what we call giggle. That is garbage in, garbage out, in and out to store information in the hard disk or to channel information out of the hard disk. So that is the purpose of this IDE and uh, SATA cable. Uh, next we have uh, a CD-ROM. So this is what we call a CD or DVD-ROM. So this is where we, this is where we insert, this is where we insert uh, a CD. I know you know CDs and of course DVDs. So this is where we insert DVD, like when we want to program uh, a computer using a CD. So we open a CD-ROM, then we insert the CD, then from there it can be able to be read into the computer. Next we have our fans, so we have fans here. So the work of uh, these fans is to call parts of the computer, the system unit. So as you can see, we have fans. We have one fan here. We have another fan on this side here. And then on the power supply, we also have another fan here. So the work of uh, this fan is to cool the temperatures inside the system unit, inside the system unit inside the system unit. Of course, we have uh, other components like uh, the capacitors, we have resistors, we have transistors, of which I know you know the purpose of, uh, of uh, those components. Uh, hope I haven't forgotten anything. So those are some of uh, the parts that are being found inside the system unit. All those are the components that are being housed inside the system unit. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you on the next video, inshallah.